This is a demo of a simple voxel terrain system that I've made this afternoon. It's using um, a technique called dual contouring. Uh, and I wanted to give a demonstration uh, of it. <clears throat> there are a couple of things that I worked out while making this. Um, and one is that it's a lot easier to iterate quickly if you make plugins for the Unity editor. So uh, this is an example of a voxel uh, of an editor window. Um, and when I click here, initialize here, it's going to uh, change the um, change the data here and uh, regenerate uh, the surface. So voxels have a three-dimensional data system. We can have a look here. This is a ground plane plus um, plus one sphere. Uh, and then I have a system that uh, if I click, it will let me uh, either uh, insert voids or uh, insert spheres. So if I turn off a road, I can insert a sphere. Um, and if I put uh, a road back on, uh, now I can sort of dig holes. Um, maybe it's useful to show uh, some of the code because uh, some of this stuff wasn't that easy to work out from uh, from the Unity tutorials. So um, the <coughs> here there are two editors here. One's the editor window. Um, the editor window is this thing down here. Uh, this thing here. Uh, it's got an initialize button and then uh, a size, which is the size of the grid that the system is using to generate terrain. Um, and the other thing is actually uh, running inside the scene view um, whenever you click on an object of a specific type. So let's have a look at that first. So uh, this is running in the scene view. Um, the way that you make this is you make a class called, uh, you give it some name, I've called this one voxel editor, make it inherit from editor, say that it is a custom editor of, uh, and then this is a game object type, so, uh, well, a component type. So I've got this other class called voxel data, um, which inherits from mono behavior. So this is the type of thing that you attach to a game object. Um, so this is an editor for that, and this one's pretty simple. So uh, the selected object, you can uh, you can get that as uh, from target. If this is casting it to voxel data, and then all this does is uh, look for a mouse down event uh, with the left mouse button, and then um, it uses this special function uh, GUI point to world array. Uh, to find out the, uh, the hit point where it actually hit the object on the screen and then uh, on the voxel data object it calls this function uh, hit and uh, what hit will do is add a sphere uh, or a sphere void um, to the list of um, entities that are being uh, combined together to generate the surface. Um, let's go back here. Uh, so the other part, uh, it took me a little while to, to figure this out, but if you want to have stuff that uh, interacts with the scene view, you need something that derives from editor, and then you need to implement on scene GUI. If you want uh, an editor, uh, if you want your own window in the Unity editor, then you need to inherit from editor window. And... Um, Uh, normally, uh, then you can have that um, you, uh, you you normally find somewhere in the menu hierarchy to make an item that will show your editor. Uh, you do that with an annotation like this. And then you have on GUI that allows you to, uh, you basically just specify uh, the GUI layout each time you run. So it has a label 
and then um, has an object field which is the, the voxel data item to manipulate um, and uh, then it has one uh, control here an integer control that's with int field um, and then uh, it's also got a button if you push the button it calls initialize which we saw before um, and initialize just creates a new calls initialize on the entity mesh I found that uh, Unity, when you're working in the editor, it doesn't like you just instantiating objects with new. I guess it wants you to instantiate game objects. Um, the So th this voxel object has an entity object already inside it that it just manipulates rather than creating new ones. So it was a quick demo of uh, deformable terrain and uh, how to make a Unity, uh, how to make your own window in Unity and how to make uh, interactors with the scene view. Just for fun we can interact uh, a little bit more with this, do some building. Bye for now.